Hey, how's it going, friends? My name is Angel Alex, and welcome back to the channel. We are back with some more of Mass Effect. Last episode was a big one. Uh, we were tasked with destroying Saren's base, and they actually gave us a pretty tough decision uh, of choosing between Caden and Ashley. Basically, we got to choose who lived and who died, and we ended up going with Ashley for those of you guys that uh, missed it. So sadly, Caden is no longer with us, but uh, he sacrificed himself, and in the end, we came out with a lot of information on Saren. We discovered that Saren isn't really the real enemy, uh, but the real enemy is a Reaper called Sovereign, and uh, Sovereign is basically using Saren uh, to find the conduit. So a lot of new information, um, I think the first thing we're gonna do today is, uh, talk to our, our team. Of course, we have to. We gotta talk to the team. And I think, uh, eventually we do have to report to the council. But before we do that, I do want to have a chit-chat with my team here. Because they went through some shit. Hi. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? I was worried. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. Oh yeah, we, uh, she like showed us another one of those like vision thingies, uh, last at the end of last episode. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. Why? He's the last person I'd feel sorry for. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't talk to you. We've already talked about Benezia and Asari culture. Um, okay, I guess we're done here. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. All right. Let's go have a chat with... Um, Rexy Rex and Caden's no longer. Oh man, I was about to say there's somebody that's usually right here, but Caden's no longer with us. Uh, that that hurts actually. You know, you get so used to like being in a routine, checking up on everybody, and just he he's not there. It's a little sad. Oh, we had, I didn't realize we brought these guys with us. Hey, Rex. Commander. Things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. Thank you, Rexy Rex. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. Agreed. And you will we'll have, have Saren, buddy. Enough. You will. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. All right. So long, Rex. Shepherd. Shepherd. Commander? How are we doing? Can we talk? About Caden? Uh, about Caden. About Lieutenant Alenko. How are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. It's not your fault. Williams, listen to me. I'm in command of this mission. I made the call, not you. He's dead because of me. It's funny. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance. But when I think of someone dying for me... Um... If you don't mind my asking... How did you deal with the losses on Akuz? It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember him, and I'll do better for him. Yeah. I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, Skipper. Skipper. Can we talk? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I'm off duty until tomorrow. I was gonna have a small drink. Bit of a celebration. If you're interested. Non-alcoholic? Uh, okay, what's the occasion? What's the occasion? 
It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. I'm the only Williams here. I guess you'd be the only other one interested in it. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and a list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. I see. That's why you drive yourself so hard. A Williams has to be better than the best, if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. What happened to your grandfather after the war? He was relieved of command as soon as Shan Shi was liberated. They brought him back to Earth in irons, but there was never a trial. They quietly demoted him and stuck him behind a desk. He retired a year later and spent the rest of his life working construction in the colonies. Sometimes we hear about attempts to get him exonerated in some official way. Nothing ever comes of him. As I recall, your grandfather held out for a long time. The Turians wrecked the orbitals in the first wave and occupied the major cities. They sat in orbit, dropping rocks on anything that moved. Granddad dispersed the troops. But when they went into the cities for supplies, the Turians would wreck a block to eliminate one fire team. Civilians were dying, his troops were starving, and he couldn't contact Alliance High Command. So he surrendered the garrison. He refused to sacrifice his men just to save face for humanity. You planning to throw yourself on a sword to save face for him? Would it make a difference? He's gone now. Dad's gone too. And who would it impress? I'll never be good enough for the Alliance. So now you know. Gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? We need you. You're part of the team, Williams. I don't care what your grandfather did or didn't do. Not to get all cheesy, but you're the first CEO who's ever said that to me. Thanks, Skipper. I'm sure Kieran she calls wants me to brief you. I should get out of your hair. Skipper. No, wait, we didn't talk about that drink. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't maintain themselves. Not yet, anyway. Why does she call me Skipper so much? So weird. Alright, well. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. I do feel like lately, all of our conversations with Ashley have been like really good. And we've been learning a lot about her. And been bonding a lot with her. I feel like. It really sucks we can't romance her as a, as a female. Stupid. Uh, hey, Garrus. Commander, I... What can I do for you? What's the matter? Something bothering you? It's Sarah. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find you. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we will find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Can I ask you something, Commander? Of course. What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? It's possible. You seem to have some thoughts on this. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. Agreed. Uh, see, but what if we figure out something that's super crucial and, like, makes me change my mind about killing him? We'll see. It'll depend on the situation. I'm not committing to anything until I've got him in my sights. Fair enough. Either way, I'm right behind you, Commander. Oh, I love him. Okay. Okay. 
I did promise Rex could have him. So he'll probably end up dying anyway. <laughs> uh, I, I want to keep that promise to Rex. Rex means a lot to me. It feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? With Saren, I mean. It won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends, and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. An important part. We couldn't have done this without you, Tally. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. You're welcome. I'm gonna miss you when you go back to your own people, Tally. That won't happen for a while yet. I'll be right here anytime you need me. I should go. See you later. Bye. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. You think a blockade's gonna stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mu relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. What about the conduit? What about the Reapers? Uh, it's not over. What about... One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The Conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The Conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. If Saren finds the Conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until further notice you're grounded. Stupid. You son of a... Bitch, this is stupid. This is a fucking mistake. Are you insane? After everything I have done, you still don't believe me. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this with my help, of course. Why? Bunch of stupid. I don't even. Commander, Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. It wasn't you. They're idiots. They screwed me. It wasn't you. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything. Everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. And doom the galaxy. While they sit on their asses, Saren searching Ilos for the conduit. As soon as he finds it, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal. 
and get them to reverse their decision. What's the use not now, Liara? <laughs> I tried. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We're out of the game for now, but I'll find a way back in. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Aww. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh uh, Sorry to interrupt, oh, fucking Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Uh, uh, are you listening in? <laughs> are you spying on us, Joker? No, ma'am. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. Uh, you should probably go meet with him. But, like, we were having a moment? Fine. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Uh, why is this? I I don't like how Caden's statues like are his silhouette still there. Just a re constant reminder. Uh God. Sure. With exterior atmosphere. We're fucking magic. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. We're all fucking Exo magic. Presley has the deck. You guys. Who planned this? Oh me. <laughs> Commander, I've been waiting for you to get back. Oh, hi, Conrad, again. I've got an idea, and I wanted to run it by you. Um, go ahead. What's on your mind? With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one specter is enough. What if you signed me on as another specter? Uh, you've got to be kidding. I'm afraid not. Hey, Conrad, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> but I'd make a great specter. I'd be right there with you, showing the council what humanity is capable of. I know you're afraid to trust people after losing your team at Akuz, but I'd never let you down. What about your wife, Conrad? She trusts you too. Aren't you letting her down? What? I, I don't understand. You know what keeps me going out here? Knowing that people back home are keeping humanity strong. You... You're right. I just got so caught up in all of it. I wanted to help. <laughs> I'll go home. Thanks for setting me straight. Oh. You know, he puts his mind to it. He can accomplish anything. All right. It's a club. Yeah. All right, where's Captain Anderson at? Oh, damn. This is actually like a casino type deal. Uh, where is Anderson? He said he'd meet us at Flux, right? Well, this is Flux. Uh, I don't know if you talk to the bouncer. Hey, good to see another human. Ah, uh, uh, oh, there he is. Here we go. I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. They pulled me off the mission, just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. <sighs> These people, man. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? 
Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. Uh... Any other options? There's gotta be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override him. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Uh, break into his office. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? I'm fucking ready, dude. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. All right. Let's hope this all goes well. Anderson, what are you doing here? I didn't send. Oh! Damn! She knocked his ass out. That's what I like to see. Go. Let's go. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. <laughs> Hell yeah. We're fucking doing it. Shepard, may I speak with you? What's about to happen? What's going on? I was just thinking about you. I have been thinking about you too. And what we are about to face. I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but part of me fears we are already too late. <laughs> there is something I must tell you, in case we fail. Why am I nervous right now? <laughs> We're not going to fail, I promise. Please, I am not looking for comfort. Saren might already have the conduit. It is time to be completely honest with each other. These could be our last moments together. Oh shit. Our last chance to show each other how we feel. I want this to Dude, be Dude, the music. Oh, I thought you wanted to wait. Dude, the fucking music right now. <laughs> oh, I can't. Uh, it's so intense. I thought you wanted to wait. So do I now? I want to like, you know, I, th I thought you wanted to wait. We don't have to do this. Not unless you're sure. I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Oh, okay. Will you join with okay. me, Shepard? Let our bodies and minds Forget unite. it. Why would, who would, why, who, what? Why is this an option? Who would ever pick that option? Yes, <laughs> I will. Just tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's happening. Oh no, I'm gonna have to blur this out, aren't I? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> This is a different type of sex scene, dude. <laughs> By the goddess, that was incredible, <laughs> Shepard. You. Oh. I didn't mean to cut her off. Five minutes ETA to the Mew Relay. I had better go. Duty calls. You would not want to keep Joker waiting. Shepard, whatever happens on Ilos, I just wanted to say thank you for everything. Oh. All right. Now that we're properly motivated.
Uh, Commander? We've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There Dude, is I'm fucking closer, nervous right now. So much drop is going on. Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone! There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Yeah, he can Joker. fucking do it. He's the best pilot in the galaxy. It. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. Let's fucking do it. Let's fucking do it. Let's fucking go. Ugh, guess. Gross. We're here, bitch. You two, keep moving inside now. Let's go. Uh, what's up? Get in, get in, get in. Ah, uh, coward. Hiding behind the damn walls. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. All right. Let's look around. Oh shit, we got gas. Come on. Oh, this pistol is rocket. Fuck yeah. Okay. There's a point of interest right here. Is it just a vehicle or is it just the door or I think it's just the door. Okay. Let's go have a look back here then. Oh shit. Fuck! Kidding me. Wow. <laughs> okay.
look around. Inside that bunker. All right. Hello. Oh, hello. Lovely people. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. something back to life? Maybe I don't want to do that. This seems to be friendly, but uh, <laughs> makes me a little nervous. Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message. But I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fault Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. I'm only getting small bits. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Alright you guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't yet. 
Check out all the links down in the description if you're interested in any of the gear I use, and I'll see you guys in the next video.